Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the date in the format of DD MM and YY and print the next 10 dates in the same format as the output. Now this is our first test case. So in this test case, we have this as our input and we have got the next 10 dates the same format as the output. And then this is our second test case. Where we have this as our input. And we have got the next 10 dates as our output. And now we'll see the logic involved. That is, we are going to use the date time module and specifically in this date time module, we'll use the str p time which will convert the string date to time object and then we'll use the time delta which will increment the date by a certain value of that is 1 so we'll be using these to get our next 10 dates in the same format that is we'll use the date time module where the str p time will convert the string date to time object and this time delta will increment the dates by a certain value and here the values 1 that is the date will be incremented by 1 for 10 times and thus we will get our output. Now let us implement our program. First we will import the date time and then we will get the date as the input in the format of string itself. And after getting the date, we'll have the strp time function, which will convert the date to the date time object. And here we'll have it in the format of d that is date, the month, and the year in YYYY. So we have got the date time object. And after that, we have to increment the values so that 
that is for CTR in range from 1 to 11 that is the first 10 dates. So here the date will be incremented by using the time delta function in date time module where day is equal to 1. So the date will be incremented by 1 using the time delta and then we'll have to print the date dot the strf time so which will print the output with our specified condition that is this is our format we'll have the same format for the other 10 that is the next 10 dates also so we'll use the strf time to print the output now we'll pass our first test case so yes we have got the correct output that is we have got the next 10 dates now we'll execute our second test case so yes here also we have got the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully <laughs> hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video